if I can get this to stand up. Sliding down, I'd be all right. I still didn't find anything on my great grandmother, but I mm -hmm. pulled up her husband. Oh, William. you did? Okay. And on, on one of the papers that I was reading, it said that she was a light skinned woman, a what? fair complexed woman. Fair complexed woman, How okay. How could it be a fair complexed woman when the children are so dark? Because the children's parents, could, the children's father could be super dark. Mm -hmm. Now, both of, them, both of my parents are extremely light skinned. My mother is so light, she looks like a white woman. My mm. father looks like a white woman, but I came out dark because mm. I, my mother's father was a full blood Choctaw, and Choctaw is a dark. Mm. So, uh, it, 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 like I said, you can't look. Yeah. You can't look in the mirror and say, I look this way, so this means I'm that. You mm. can't do that. I, I can't stress that enough. You cannot do that because you will always mess up. I thought that was kind of interesting. Yeah. Okay. About him. I think I, I think I got this set up right. I'm gonna try to get this together today. All right. <laughs> you think it's gonna work? I hope it's gonna work today. All right. I'm trying to do my podcast and stuff and get all that and get them uploaded on the internet. Did you have a nice trip with your family? Uh, I didn't get to see my kids. I went down there. I had to go. I had to go see my lawyer. Oh, he's yeah, yeah. His lawyer. This is yours. I gave that to you. Okay. Okay. That's your handwriting on there. Oh yeah, yeah I lost it to you. Yeah, but I got mine. Mine is the big one. Okay. Mine is the big one. Okay. Now. All right. No, I didn't get to see my kids this time. Uh, I'm working on it. Uh, I got a new lawyer. Hopefully he can do a better job than these, these other lawyers. Okay. All right. See, here's the thing. Most, see, she didn't know that the teacher of this class was a black man. She did not. She, and she did not, because when I came in, she go, are you coming to the... I said, yes. I says, are you in the class? She says, yes. I says, are you Indian? Or you have Indian in your, your family? Oh, yes. My mother was half Indian. Mm -hmm. But I went and I did a DNA test, and I don't have any Indian in me. I didn't know what to say. I said, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, truth be told. She didn't know you were black. She didn't know. And she, she won't come to shocked. class. She yeah, was she was shocked. in shock. That's why she didn't want to stay here. Mm -hmm. If I was white, she would have stayed here. <laughs> so that's why I'm not worried about her. I took her information down, but she's never, she's never come to this class. <laughs> Here's the thing. They don't want to accept the fact that we can be more educated than mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. She can never submit to having, being educated by a person that she feels superior to. <laughs> okay? So she will never show up. Mm -hmm. All right? She would never show up. But that's okay. That's okay. I deal with that all the time. I, I, I deal with that all the time. Uh, and it's, uh, it's, it's funny to me because they can't accept, they want to tell themselves. I had a lady in my car today. I'm like, you know, her friend is full blood Cherokee. I said, uh, what does she look like? Looks like a white woman. I said, okay, well, she's not Cherokee. I said, I said what they did on the rolls was they uh, uploaded, I mean, what they did was they, they allowed you to do what's called the $5 Indian rule. Mm -hmm. If you were European and you had $5 in 1883 to 1893, you could pay the $5 and get put on the Indian rolls. Point blank. Mm -hmm. You're not, you don't have a drop of Indian blood in you at all. But that's what they did. Now, um, in fact, I have... Uh, remember we were talking about Friedman mm -hmm. last time? Here you go. See, there are other people out there doing the same research that I did, okay? And, but they have more money to publish stuff and print stuff out. Mm -hmm. But if you see, it says here, Friedman literally means free Indian, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. But look at that man there. He's a black man. He's a black man. That's the whole key. Black people are Indians. 
but we've been programmed to think that white people are Indians. And they didn't get here until 1492 and 200 years later. That, they just mm -hmm. stopped here. They didn't get up here to North America and start colonizing until uh, what they, they claimed 1619, but that's really not true. It wasn't really until um, uh, 1790 that they started even bringing um, slaves over from Africa who were not Africans. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish out iconoclasm today. All right, now I'm gonna do this for this little podcast at the same time. I'm starting to uh, figure out how I can uh, upload these things and uh, see if I can get that to, uh, to get that to work. Okay, so. Well, they said they had a step tree mineral for that. Exactly. Yeah, when you go and look at the, the Indian rolls, one of them will say Indian and one of them will say Freedman. But the whole key is the people that are on the Freedman roll are the real Indians. But they, the, they, they, they put the European, the white people on the Indian side so they would get the benefits. It's all about money. Okay, now this here is a picture of an Indian and it shows how they, how the original looks, which is black, and how they lighten him up over the course of time to make him look, to make him look white looking. Mm -hmm. That's why they want you to think Indians come, white people come from light skinned Indians. No, there were no light skinned Indians until the Europeans arrived. Mm -hmm. So there is no, uh, we full blood, there's no way a European looking woman can be a full blood Indian. No way. Now, if a full blood Indian goes and has a child by a white woman, a European woman, that child may look like a white person, but they're actually an Indian. Mm -hmm. All right, and they may look like now. That's a different, diff, different deal. That means, let's say I'm, I go and have a child by a, a white kid, mm -hmm. and my kids come out looking white. They're still they're Indian. Indians, right. mm -hmm. They just look white. Mm -hmm. Now, here's the thing, though. If the child is a boy, he can go and keep and keep on having boys and boys and all those boys still got the same Y chromosome. But if if I if if, if my uh, white wife has a girl and she goes and has a child by another what whatever man she chooses, that child is whatever that man is she chooses. Now she goes back to my tribe and get one of my brethren mm -hmm. or cousins and has a child by them, and fine. She's still they're they're still Indian. Mm -hmm. But Odds are she's going to go get some knucklehead some way, way off. Mm -hmm. You know how our little black daughters do. They always want to go get them a Justin Bieber. <laughs> okay? And that child is going to be, you know, whatever that boy is. Whatever her husband is, that's what that child is going to be. Now, he'll be related to me, but he won't be the same thing as I am. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, now, but I want to get through this iconoclasm quickly because, uh, now... Uh, I, you, you remember I showed you. What did he do? He, he got his Creek status. No, he was just listed on the he was listed on the Freedman roll as a Freedman. But the implication when you see Freedman is a person who was a slave and then was freed. Mm -hmm. That's what it implies, but that's not what it means. What it actually stands for is a free man, a free Indian man. That's what it stands for, but it's a Freedman. Now, when you get you a Freedman card, and I've seen them with my own eyes, all you get is a tax exemption, but you list it as a descendant of a slave of an Indian. Okay? But that's not true. What you actually were were Indian. The Indians didn't have any slaves. I have yet to find a photograph of Indians that had black people in slavery. Not one have I found. And I've been looking hard, but I haven't found one. And but I got to get through this icon. You remember I gave you a pic, showed you a picture of these boys mm -hmm. at a full blood Choctaw. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now how can these be full blood Choctaw, mm -hmm. and then a white person be a full blood Choctaw unless these boys fathered a child by a white, by a white woman? Mm -hmm. Then that child would be a, a it wouldn't it, it would be a Choctaw Indian. 
but not full blooded full because he would be related to the white people of the mother, all right? But if this, these, that any one of these brothers had a child by another Choctaw Indian mother, then he's full blood Choctaw. Now, you can't get white from this. You can't get a white child from this unless the mother is white. They'll look white, all right? But people don't, people get that twisted um, thinking that, uh, well, I'm, I can be, you know, my people can be from Europe and I'm still a full blood Indian. There's no way. There's just no way. But that's what they want to believe and that's what they want to tell themselves and that's what they want to, uh, oh, here's another picture. Uh, that's what they want to uh, keep perpetuating with these fake roles and these fake, well, my, my great great grandmother's on the Indian role. That doesn't mean she's an Indian. Okay, this is a kind of classic. This is a picture I was looking for. It shows you the same kid, but this is the original, and this is the whitewash. When you think of iconoclasm, you want to think of whitewashing. Iconoclasm mm -hmm. directly means whitewashing. Just whitewashing. That's all you're doing. Now, well, why would they do that? Why would they? So that woman that's standing there, that you were just talking to when I walked in, will think that there's a possibility that she could be an Indian. That's exactly, she is the but product. She's not white boy. She is. No. But because of these images, she thinks there's a chance that she can be a real Indian. Because mm -hmm. her mother was 50% Indian. Because your mother's 50% Indian. What is that? Does, is her father an Indian? Okay, we don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay? I just know that her mother, her grandmother was white. Mm -hmm. Abducted by the Indians. If she was abducted by the Indians, does that mean she had a child? She she came back pregnant, right? So that's what they said. That's what she okay. Said. So the implication is she got she was impregnated by an Indian by woman. By Indian man. By Indian man. Okay. So her mother is the daughter of the Indian man. Is that what she's saying? Mm -hmm. Okay. If her mother is a is the daughter of the Indian man, then her mother is an Indian. Okay, because her father's an Indian, but the children that she had, unless the, her mother went back to the Indian tribe and got impregnated by another Indian, she's not an Indian. Mm -hmm. She's related to the Indians. Mm -hmm. Okay, because the, the, the mother carries the XY chromosome, mm -hmm. so the mother is whatever her father is. Mm -hmm. All right, but she's related to whatever her mother is. So. Yes, she, her mother could be an Indian, but that doesn't mean her daughter's an Indian. It well, depends she, on what her daughter's she, father uh, is. She said it was, the, it was just a, it was a story that always circulated around her family mm -hmm. that, that the lady was abducted. And um, that's why she had a DNA test. And I'm like, why would you want to do a DNA test if you think you're Indian? But apparently, the mother of her mother mm -hmm. died when she was, the, the child was eight years old when the mother died. Which child? Her grandmother was eight years old. Mm -hmm. Her grandmother died when her daughter, when, when this lady's mother, uh -huh. mother, died. her mama died uh -huh. when she was her mother's mother died, which would be her grandmother, mm -hmm. lady's grandmother, uh -huh. died when she was eight years old. Okay, so when her mother was eight years old. So her mother really doesn't know much. She, so all, What her mother knows is the stories that were circulated. Knows the stories she knows. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What was being circulated. Your mom was abducted, she was pregnant by an Indian. So okay. Indian. Well, if she wouldn't have a DNA test, I don't put any credit in DNA tests. I don't tests. put no credit in no DNA tests either. You know. So I, 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 I can't really, I can't really speak on that, but um, um, odds are she's not, but we'll give her benefit of the doubt. Now, here's one more picture I want to show you on iconoclasm. Now, if you, uh, I don't think this, this camera is going to pick it up, but, but the one, the real picture is a black, black Black as night Indian. Mm -hmm. But the one they painted that they put on the walls is yellow. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. They can't paint them completely white. I can see the difference. I can see the yellow. So they paint them yellow, mm -hmm. okay, to keep from he painting looks, them the way it really looks. looks. He looks yeah. red. Uh huh. They'll paint them anything but what they really look like. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, I wanted, I want to take a break mm -hmm. and give you some background on. I want to take a break and give you some background on the Indians that were here on your island, the Karen Cowers, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now. They didn't say they were black. They, they didn't said, say they were black. They said that they were. I read it and it said that they were. That there was Indians here and yeah. that they married. They the way they put it was that the 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 Indian female married the black man. Mm -hmm. They didn't say that the black man was mm -hmm. Indian. Mm -hmm. They act like it was a black man. I'm thinking, mm -hmm. where did the black man come from? Where did he come from? Mm -hmm. They never they never he was not Indian. He was a black man. The the Indian women married black men. The, the Indian women and their children were slaves to the white man. Yeah. But they didn't marry the white man. Uh -huh. They married the black man. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. So. Total crap. Total That's crap. That's what it said. They, they never, they never um, said that the black men were they, Indians. Were, and they should have said they married, they married in, black Indians. Black Indians. But they did. They said black men. They can't do it because they cannot accept the fact that black people are Indians. Even when they're slapping them in the face, they can't do it. Now, here's where research comes in. And this is where we excel because we search for the truth. We don't search for a way to hide the truth. Now, let's go from, let's start, let's start like this. Make it real easy for it. And, I'm gonna, and then we're gonna, when we finish this, I'm gonna show you, you're gonna show me what you got on your, your mother and your, your, your that, 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 the husband that you found? Oh, I didn't bring. I didn't print it off. I you didn't print it off. Okay. I read it. I, did, I, I read what it said. I read the mother, okay. the father. Okay. He was born in Mississippi, and his his brothers and sisters. Okay. I read that part of it, and and I read the one thing they asked for a description of the wife, mm -hmm. and it said that she was uh very light skinned. That's fine. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about it. I, don't worry about what somebody looks like. I don't care if that light is white or black as tar. It doesn't matter. But this was on, I got this off of... Um, Family search? I, I, I tried all morning and the late girl helped me. We could not get, I put my, I set up a free account and everything. Mm -hmm. But it said the account had not, that it had not been registered or something. I guess it takes 48 hours or whatever. No. Uh, Family search, you can do it in 30 seconds. So all you gotta do is just yeah, make I, up a password. I, I did it, I did it. I put all that in. Okay. And it took it, but when I went in to try to go into familysearch.org, family uh -huh. it, um, it said it wasn't, it wasn't registered yet or something like that. Okay, we'll work on that. So I went back to what I was looking at before. And okay. That's, that's, that's when I, I read that about William. Okay. But I did get his mother and his father, which was good. I'll help you out with that. Okay. But now. I cannot do that. I, I got all the information. I set it all up, and mm -hmm. it wouldn't come up. Okay. Now, all right. We'll, we'll work on that. Now, this um, is a flyer uh, that basically says, explains the Juneteenth celebration. It says, did you know that... I read that whole article. You read online. this article. I read it online. Okay. The Juneteenth is an American Indian holiday. Mm -hmm. On June 19, 1865, General Granger announced the end of slavery at Galveston, Texas, a date referred to as Juneteenth. Galveston was not just a random haphazard place picked to announce the emancipation of slaves in Texas. It was an Indian empire where the enslaved Karen Kawa Indians were reclassified as, it says down here, Africans and blacks. It's actually colored and blacks. Okay? They never were reclassified as Africans. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing that needs to be corrected. Now, that's the difference between um, um, 
having research and uh, full complete research and incomplete research. Okay, mm -hmm. you have to understand. In order to get correct research done, you have to understand that the the the, the information that's put out by the people that are trying to hide the truth. They have to know the truth in order to make up a lie about the truth. All right? So the people that are putting out the false information know the truth. Now, let's take this for example. It says Karen Kyle Indians were reached classified as Africans and blacks. Okay? You have never seen a for sale slave sale in history in the history books that says Africans for sale. There is no such thing as Africans for sale. Negro. It will always say Negroes mm -hmm. or blacks for, say, for, 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 the, for the, the slaves. I'm talking about the slaves. It will, the slaves will always say Negro because they knew the Negroes were not African, okay? Mm -hmm. So it cannot be correct that they were reclassified as Africans because the people that were involved in the slave trade knew that they were not Africans. They bought them from Africans because the Africans mm -hmm. hated the Negroes. In fact, the word Negro is synonymous with Israelite. If you want to be more mostly correct, the Israelites were the first Negroes. And I can prove that. Because if you go back to the, the 18 nations that were created by the Lord, the, at the top of the list you have the first two, which is Israel and Edom, which are the Khazars, all right? Israel and Edom. Okay? Now, we know that Israel comes from Jacob and Edom comes from Esau. Mm -hmm. All right? Now, the other 16 nations are split up, and, if, and I didn't highlight it on yours, but let's say, let's start with number 13 to 18. That's Turkey, Russia, Greek, um, German, Spanish, and Cyprus. Okay? Now these come partly from Japheth, Gomer, Magog, Javan, Tarshish, Kittim, okay? Ashkenaz, all right? Now, I don't think that this, it, it, it has the breakdown of the different nations, but as far as exactly where they come from, I'm not 100%, I'm not thinking that these are 100% correct, but because you got Ashkenaz in there, and these are Japhites, Gomer, Magog, Javan, Tarshish, Kittim. Those are actually the sons of J uh, Japheth, which was the, uh, the second Jeff son um, um, of Noah. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, we do know the ones up here that were from the youngest son, which was Cush, Mizram, Put, and Canaan. We know those come from... Um, Ham, no, Ham. All right, we know those come from Ham. All right, now the, 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 the top one, two, three, four, five, six, the top six, which is three through eight, those come from Shem, believe it or not. They come from the same forefather we, that the top two hat come from. Mm -hmm. All right, That's the right. problem is, the problem is, it wasn't until Jacob came along. You remember Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, when it came to, um, uh, before Jacob was born, his father's name was Isaac. Mm -hmm. But Isaac had a brother named Ishmael. Mm -hmm. All right? Ishmael is where you get um, the um, Arabs, okay, which are the Ishmaelites. That was the, Those are actually the the first cousins to the Israelites, the Ishmaelites. Mm -hmm. However, before Abraham was even born, you had Hebrews because 
Abraham had a forefather named Eber, E-B-E-R. And from Eber, you get um, um, uh, the, uh, these other ones, like you got the Elamites, uh, uh, the Assyrians, the Syrian, Assyrian, Syrians. Now, when you get down here to the Chinese and the Japanese, they come from Lot. So that's very important to write that on the side, Lot. Lot had two sons by his two daughters. Remember when Sodom and Gomorrah was burned up? Lot had two sons. And they, one was Moab and one was Ammon. All right? Those are Lot's. Now they're Hebrews, but they're Hebrew Moabites and Ammonites. Now they're Hebrew. So everybody above, eight and above, are all Hebrews. That's what, that's that, but it, 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 it may seem like it's really complicated, but you have to know that in order to come over here and understand this iconoclasm, Negroes and Israelites. You gotta understand this. Okay, now, the Edomites and Israelites we know come from um, Isaac. The Ishmaelites come from Ishmael. So the Elamites, the Asherites, and the Aramites come from um, the Hebrews, but not from um, Jacob and Esau. I, uh, Isaac, Jacob, Isaac had two sons. Isaac, Jacob, and Esau. That line, those two, that that father with those two boys, were were, were the um, is the line that the Israelites and the Edomites come from. However, um, Abraham, who was Isaac's father, who was a grandfather of these two boys that spawned these two nations, Israel and Edom, their grandfather name was Abraham. Abraham had a nephew named Lot. And Lot is the one that fathered these two other Hebrew nations down here, the Japanese and the Chinese. All right? So you've got the source of the, Jap the, the uh, Japanese and Chinese, which is Lot, the source of the Ishmaelites, which is Ishmael, okay, which leaves the three, the other three Hebrew, Hebrew nations, which is India, Assyria, and Syria. All right, India, which are the Elamites, uh, come come from uh, well, actually, the is is Elamites, the Asherites, and the Aramites are Hebrews, but they they come uh, from the line before. Uh, Abraham okay before Abraham and the Ishmaelites come from Abraham but they were from the son that was not the son of promise Isaac was the son of promise who had the two boys Jacob and Esau which spawned the two nations that are at war of each other right now because the Edomites are the ones that have the Ishmaelites in captivity now okay now that we got that out, out of the way, we know that um, the first eight nations are Hebrews. They're all Hebrews. So everybody wants to go back and say that, well, we all come from Adam. We all come from Adam. We all come from the same people. Yeah, we all do come from Adam. But there was a great flood. Mm -hmm. And that great flood wiped out everybody and it had to start all over from those three boys, the three sons of Noah. And one wasn't European looking, one wasn't Negro looking, and one wasn't Asian looking. They all looked exactly the same because they both had the same father and same mother. They all were black. All three boys looked the same. They were black. It's just that the Lord had a purpose. Those three boys would spawn the 18 nations. So the 18 nations come from um, Shem, Japheth, and Ham. Right? Now, Japheth was actually moved out of its land when the Greeks took over. You got to remember now. Just because a group started in one place doesn't mean they stayed there because you had conquering. You had the, 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 the um, Alexander the Great, 
you had the Assyrians, you had the Babylonians, uh, you had all these nations that were going around conquering people. And when they conquered people, they'd move them out of where their land was and take over that. That happened when the Japhites were taken over, which were the original Greeks, and they were taken over by the, Macedo uh, the Macedonian guy, which his name was Alexander the Great. And then they were moved out, and he took over that, that identity of being Greek. Mm -hmm. But the Japhites were the original Greeks. Now, when, these, when the Greeks go and take over, they go in and pretty much rape everybody. Rape, rob, murder, pillage, everything. So that's why a lot of these, these nations, uh, like down here, Turkey, Russia, Greek, German, Spanish, Cyprus, they look what you would consider Macedonian looking or, or European looking or, or Caucasian, all right? All right, but, but that's the basics. Now, many different things happen. The, 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 the pretty much the Roman Empire, all the, the European looking uh, Caucasian people, got pushed back into Mount Seir when the Judites, which were the sons of Shem, the Judites took over, all right? Now, but that's the Byzantine Empire, that's another lesson. Okay, so let's get back to how the Negroes are the original Israelites. Because um, there's a, I brought a, I didn't bring it this time, but there's a dictionary called the um, uh, Zonovan's Bible Dictionary. Mm -hmm. And it names Ham as the progenitor. The definition of Ham is the progenitor of the dark races, but not the Negroes. That's correct, except it's giving you the, the uh, implication that the Negroes were just the Judites from the tribe of Judah, all right? Which will the, end up being the Negroes that they brought over on slavery. Okay, the problem with that is the tribe of Judah was just one of 12 tribes. And all 12 tribes basically looked the same. They were all dark skinned, they all had woolly hair, and I'll prove that later on. So, but it's just, it's kind of like, it's kind of like this. You got the Northern Kingdom, right? Mm -hmm. You got the Southern Kingdom. All right. Out of the Southern Kingdom, you have Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Right? Mm -hmm. However, all three, all three tribes are referred to as Judites, because the southern kingdom just took on the name of one name, Judah. Mm -hmm. The whole southern kingdom. Mm -hmm. It was three different tribes, but they were all called Judites. Okay? Same thing here. You, you're just replacing a name with something simple. Uh, you're just replacing, instead of calling the southern kingdom, and there's three, three tribes in it. You just call all three tribes Judites. Okay? Same thing with the northern kingdom. The northern kingdom, because the northern kingdom was headed by Ephraim, the, all the northern kingdom was referred to as Ephraimites. Okay? All right? It's just a way of simplifying who the northern kingdom and the southern. If you want to refer to the southern kingdom, you call them the Judites. If you want to refer to the northern kingdom, you refer to you call them Ephraimites. However, you know there's nine other tribes in there that could that you could that you're talking about. That's all it is. Now, okay, here's the clincher. Both kingdoms with dark skin with woolly hair. Both kingdoms. All twelve tribes are still Israel. So if all 12, 12 tribes are Israel, all right, and all 12 tribes look alike, all 12 tribes have dark skin and woolly hair, but they're not Hamites. That means that when the definition says Ham, the progenitor of the dark races, not the Negroes, 
It actually should mean, or should say, not the Israelites. Okay? Because the Israelites, what you're using to divine Negroes is dark-skinned people with woolly hair. Well, the, the other twelve, the other ten tribes had dark skin and woolly hair. So they're all Israelites, aka they're all Negroes. If you want to, if you want to simplify it and take that definition. So that definition in the book is correct, mm -hmm. but Israelite is more correct because all the twelve tribes had the same features as what they refer to as the Negroes that are not the Hamites. They're not the Japhites. They're actually Shemites. Now everybody else over here was dark skinned. But all of them didn't have woolly hair. Some of them had that funny hair like the, 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 the wavy hair like the, uh, the, the Australian Aborigines do. Those are Japhites. The Polynesians, the Hawaiians, okay? Although those are Japhites, all right? They look like us, but they're not completely us, all right? Now, uh, but they all come from Noah. They're all descendants of Noah. Now, all right, let's go. Let's come forward to what you got today. What you have is, again, like this, like this pamphlet says, um, the uh, the uh, Galveston Island was a place where the um, Indian Empire, which was the Karankawa Indians, were reclassified as correctly called colored and blacks. So on the census, they were reading as colored and black. When they reclassified them as colored and black, they took away their identity. It's a way of just going, you're not an Indian. Just that fast. Just that fast. All you got to do is a piece of paper. The power of the pen is what they refer to it as. If you want to take an entire nation of people and say they're not what they are, just write them on paper. There's something else. And from that day forward, those people think there's something else that they're not. Okay, so now, but here's where you go back and prove it, what they really are. Every photograph or every painting you will find in this library in particular on the Karankawa Indians, every painting you will find on these Indians um, is what we call those obscure, I get this to stay up here, I don't have no tape, those obscure type of um, Indians that don't have no, they don't look, they don't look like anything. We call them ghost pictures. They don't look black, they don't look white, they don't look Mongol, they don't look nothing, they just look like a ghost standing there. However, in the same picture, the Europeans that they were fighting with were completely distinguishable. So you have a painting. I don't. I don't have. I didn't bring that picture with me. I, I, it's up there. I've got it scheduled to be printed off. But um, um, I wanted to get here. I didn't want to be late, so I wanted to get here on time. But I'll. But I'll have it next time. But okay. Let, let Let's take this. Let's look at this picture right here. Now, this picture shows a person who's obviously black. But you can't make out their face, right? And one you can a little bit. A little bit, but what are you going to do with that? What, can you say something definite? Mm -hmm. There was a northern kingdom, southern kingdom. Can't tell, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's, that's what they do. Now, let's take this picture that was written right around the same time. All right? This one, you can definitely tell that these people are Negroes. All right? Their face isn't obscured no. like this one is. All right. Okay. So why is it that on the Karankawa Indians, every painting I kept, when I was doing my research here, I kept running into the same thing. All the paintings in those books up there on the Karankawa Indians had them all painted the same way. I don't care who the painter was. I don't care what uh, year it was. They always look ghostly looking. Mm -hmm. Well, you couldn't tell. Now, let's go back to the purpose of your enemy. When your enemy wants to hide the true identity of who you are, he will obscure what you look like, obscure any definition that can trace you back to what you really are. So what he does, 
He paints their pictures in like a ghost face. It doesn't have any distinguishable features. Let's, 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 let's say a Mohican as opposed to uh, an Apache, mm -hmm. okay? You know they're gonna have distinguishable di different features. They would just completely obscure those features and just make it look like something that was just floating in the air, a picture of something, you can't tell what it is. Mm -hmm. They always do that in one case only, when they wanna hide the black mm -hmm. Indians. When they don't want you to know that those Indians are black, they will make them in a ghost. Because mm -hmm. they know they can't justifiably paint them white mm -hmm. because they know they weren't white when they got here. Mm -hmm. So what they do is they think, well, we'll make it look like something that doesn't exist, just some obscure Indian. Mm -hmm. But he, he, he's not white, so we're not lying, but he's not black, and mm -hmm. we're not telling all the truth. Mm -hmm. However, there were some painters that did paint the, the photographs exactly correct. Now, I'm gonna go and get it. I'm gonna go and get it. Uh, now, if you look at this picture right here, all right, you'll see these, these are Ute Indians. Ute. Now, Ute Indians are up in Canada, close to Canada, Northern Plains, all right? Now, in this picture, it shows one of them has straight hair, and one of them has bushy hair. But if you look at their pic, their faces, okay, yeah, all right. So here's the thing. Most tribes have people that look the same, most of them, especially if they're Mon Mongolord or a particular tribe where they pretty much bred within themselves. They didn't mix with a lot of others, okay? Now, all the tribes are like that, though, all right? But if you look at this child's face, and, and you see how it's a Ute, it, let's just say you look at that face and say, okay, that's the face of a Ute Indian. If you go get a painting and you saw, in the painting you had a bunch of, um, let's say, French, Frenchmen in that painting. And in the background you saw a little picture of an Indian or a boy that looked just like this kid. You say, hey, that's probably a Ute Indian. Because you know what the Utes look like, right? Same thing with the, with the, with the Karen Collins. Those Karen Collins, Indians. Somebody, see this is the power of the Lord. And what we're in what now is called the Great Awakening. He will, you have an enemy who wants to hide who you are, but the Lord will always make him slip up every time. He's always gonna make him slip up. And he slipped up. And I found a photograph that has two photographs to be exact that have a picture of a Native American that is a Karen Kawa. The, the author that made the painting said it was a Karen Kawa, but guess what? It doesn't have a ghost face. Hmm. It looks like what the real Karen Kawa's Indians look like, and I found it. It's taken me two years to find this picture, but I found one, because the Lord will always make you, uh, make the enemy slip up. Sooner or later, you're gonna slip up. And that's what he did. Now, let's go over right quickly. Let's go quickly how they were talking. Remember, I gave you this on the freedmen, right? Mm -hmm. this, uh, this, this right here talks about the freedmen. And it actually explains how, this fly explains how freedmen literally means free Indians. Okay? They told you that the Indians made slaves out of the black people. Mm -hmm. I have never found a picture of an Indian with a black person as a slave. But I have found a picture of Indians with black people integrated into their families. The Indians didn't enslave the black people. They welcomed them. They, the, when I say Indian here, I'm talking about Mongoloid Indians. The Mongoloid Indians did not enslave the black Indians. The Mongoloid Indians welcomed them had children by them, married them, the whole nine. They loved them because they knew they were the same people. They knew they looked a little bit different, but they knew they were the same. Okay? Again, this can be reinforced by two other photographs. The fact that in the same photograph you have two 
Shoshone Indian dancers. They're both Shoshone Indian, but one looks Mongoloid and one looks Negroid. Okay? If that's not enough, if that's not enough, because you always have the skeptics, if that's not enough, then you have to explain how the Lakota Indians themselves, before the Battle of Wounded Knee, oops, let me put this up here, the, Bo the Lakota Indians had Mongoloid Indians and Negroid Indians in the same tribe. We're the same people. We came over on the same boats together. We, got, we, 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 we uh, uh, populated this continent called, they now call America, which in the Bible is referred to as Arsareth. We populated this continent north and south. So north and south, you're going to have nothing but two phenotypes, Negroid and Mongoloid, and then everything that's in the middle because they both had children. So people say, well, what would they look like if they were, the, the, what would the people, the, the, the uh, children look like that were the offspring of the, um, the Mongoloids and the Negroids? That would be what you would have, I refer to as the ambiguous Indians in the middle because they, they don't look totally Mongoloid, they don't look totally Negroid. That's who they would go after. They would go after the ones they, that they couldn't say, well, those are Mongoloids, those are Negroids. But these, you really, 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 really can't tell. Those are the ones they tried to focus on and say, those are the Indians. That's what they try to focus on. They know they couldn't take, take the Mongoloids, the completely Mongoloid Indians, and put them into slavery. Because they can't say, they couldn't lie and say that they were, they were from Africa. There's no way you're going to say that. But the ones that, that, that were, uh, were kind of like a little, in the middle a little bit, a little 